After months of complete silence and wild rumors floating around the internet, we finally have something solid to talk about. Our first real look at the DJI Avoda 3, and no, this isn't one of those low-quality, blurry, zoomed-in leaks you find in shady corners of social media. This is the real deal. The information comes directly from Igor Bogdanov, a name that's well-known and trusted in the DJI community. If you've followed DJI leaks before, you already know that when Igor speaks, it's time to listen. With this confirmation, we're no longer in the realm of speculation. The Avada 3 leak season has officially kicked off, and everything we heard before, that was just background noise. Now that we're stepping into the real leaks phase, let's start with the most obvious question, when is the DJI Avada 3 coming out? DJI has a pattern. The first Avita was launched in September 2022. The Avita 2 followed about 19 months later. In April 2024, if we follow the same rhythm, the Avita 3 is likely to drop between October 2025 and March 2026, but the most likely launch window falls somewhere between November and January. That sweet spot aligns well with DJI's past release strategies, which usually aim for the year-end or early Q1 product cycle. And with what we're seeing now, that timeline seems more and more likely. The footage that's been leaked doesn't show everything clearly, but even without a crystal clear image, there are things we can notice. For one, the prototype stickers are unmistakable and there's a visible cable setup that screams testing unit. The overall design feels familiar, closely echoing the structure of the Avada 2. This suggests DJI isn't going for a complete overhaul in shape or form factor. Instead, they're probably focusing on core performance improvements and smarter features, while keeping the body style recognizable to fans of the Avada lineup. So, what's actually new? Let's start with the camera system probably the biggest area of improvement. The Avada 2 already packed a punch with a 1 1.7-inch sensor, capable of shooting in 4K at 60 frames per second with HDR support. That's impressive, but DJI seems ready to take it up a notch. Rumors strongly suggest that the Avada 3 will come with a larger 1-inch CMOS sensor. This would be a major step up. A bigger sensor means better clarity, deeper color profiles, and much stronger low-light performance. For professional photographers and filmmakers, that could be a game-changer. It opens up opportunities for cinematic-quality aerial shots, even in dim lighting or during sunrise and sunset flights. Not just that there's talk about advanced color grading profiles or even raw video support. If that comes true, the Event 3 would become an incredibly powerful tool for post-production work. You'd have more control over your footage, more flexibility in editing, and more room to create professional-level videos. For content creators and commercial filmmakers, this isn't just an upgrade it's a leap. Now let's talk battery life, which is always a top concern for drone users. The Avada 2 delivered a solid 23 minutes of flight time. That's great, but of course, more is always better. With the Avada 3, DJI might be aiming for something closer to 30 minutes. That might not sound like a huge jump, but in the drone world, even 5 extra minutes can mean more shots, better coverage, and less stress about recharging or swapping batteries. This increase would likely come from improved battery tech, more efficient motors, and smarter power management systems. When you're flying an FPV drone, stabilization is everything. You want smooth footage, even during sharp turns or fast movements. The Aveta 2 was already solid in this area thanks to DJI's Rocksteady and Horizon Steady systems. But the Aveta 3, it's expected to go even further. We're talking about enhanced electronic image stabilization and possibly the inclusion of a mechanical gimbal. That's huge. A mechanical gimbal would drastically reduce motion blur and jitter, even during aggressive flight patterns. For creators trying to capture dynamic and cinematic aerial shots, this would be a dream feature. Next up, obstacle avoidance. The Avider 2 had decent sensors but was limited in coverage. The Avider 3 is rumored to introduce a 360-degree obstacle detection system powered by omnidirectional sensors. That's a big leap forward. It would allow the drone to detect and avoid obstacles from all directions, drastically reducing the chances of crashes or accidents. Whether you're flying through forests, around buildings, or in tight spaces, this kind of awareness is a major help. And it's not just a safety net, it's a confidence booster, especially for new pilots still getting the hang of FPV flying. Another important upgrade might come in the form of video transmission. The Avita 2 uses DJI's O3 Plus system, which already provides low latency, high quality feeds. But the Avita 3 could step things up with the new O4 transmission system. If this becomes a reality, expect sharper real-time video, even less latency, and possibly extended range. This would mean a more immersive flying experience and better control. When capturing footage at longer distances, let's not forget propulsion and flight dynamics. The Avita 3 is expected to feature more powerful motors and optimized aerodynamics. What does that mean in real-world terms? Better speed? Tighter turns? quicker response to controls, and improved performance during freestyle maneuvers. This will appeal to both freestyle drone pilots, who love fast agile movement, and filmmakers, 
who want smooth high-energy shots from various angles. Even though the Avada series is known for offering a pro-level experience, DJI has always made efforts to make its drones accessible to beginners, that's not changing with the Avetta 3. We expect to see simplified control modes, updated flight interfaces, and possibly a revamped DJI RC Motion 3 controller. Combined with the rumored DJI Goggles 3, these updates could improve comfort and usability across the board. Imagine a headset with better resolution, less eye strain, and more intuitive controls. That's the kind of upgrade users would love. There are also whispers about AI-powered flight assistance. These could include features like automated subject, tracking pre-programmed flight paths, and even cinematic presets, all designed to help you get the perfect shot with less effort. Whether you're chasing a moving car, tracking a biker through a trail, or doing a slow reveal of a mountain landscape, these smart systems could do the heavy lifting, leaving you to focus on creativity. Dot in short, the DJI Evita 3 isn't just an iteration it's shaping up to be a full-blown evolution of DJI's FPV line. Every major area is getting an upgrade, better camera, longer battery, stronger stabilization, smarter sensors, improved transmission, and easier usability. Whether you're a casual flyer or a professional creator, the Avita 3 promises to deliver a better flying and filming experience on all fronts. And that's what makes this release so exciting. DJI isn't just competing with itself. It's raising the bar for the entire FPV drone market. With these expected improvements, the Avada 3 has the potential to become the new gold standard in its category. So now we wait. With Igor Bog dropping real details and timelines beginning to line up, it's clear the launch isn't too far off. Whether it lands in November, January, or even early March. One thing's certain, the DJI Avetta 3 is coming, and it's coming in strong.